Hey guys, um, in this video I want to talk to you about how to set it up um, the Canon Pixma 510. I mean, um, all the Canon series are the, um, the installation is going to be pretty simple. Now, uh, with all the accessories, you will get this particular um, outlet and it tells you how to uh, set it up. So basically, it will tell you like what you should be removing and what, uh, what kind of the things you should do before you set up your printer so first thing here it says like um, take out this one thing on your back so there you go so turn off turn on your printer and you will find something stuck in, uh, inside the back uh, and also like i've removed everything else here as you can see there is nothing over here so uh, what printer comes with is like it will come with a lot of plastic on it sticking together so make sure that you remove all those things and once you remove it the other thing that you want to remove is like take out this one there's this uh, plastic and take it out um, so you don't need it anymore so you can throw it outside and with that there will be a lot of stickers like this red in color so you can remove all those things as well Sorry, I'm just testing my new printer. So this is the scanning part where the scanning is done. Um, this door is uh, kind of re-adjustable for uh, bigger books. So if you have a, a thicker book, for example, then uh, you can have it like that. Uh, yeah. So the example is like this. So this is a thicker book. It's a GQ British. So I'm gonna, you know, put a thicker book here. I can expand it and I can cover it like that so it's basically used for, uh, for thicker books like that and even if uh, the book is even, even thicker than that uh, I, that cannot be helped okay so uh, first thing first first thing first uh, connect your uh, power cable power cable should be supplied with the with, uh, with the accessories so connect your power cable to the back and then connect the power cable to get the power the next thing you want to connect is like so the printer only starts operation once uh, you you get this printer connected with your CPU, um, sorry your computer, and uh, the the CD-ROM which comes with the printer should be installed on your computer. So I have already installed it uh, due to the sake of time, and I've also uh, connected the USB cable which came with uh, the printer accessories. So I've connected with uh, my computer here. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to quickly, uh, these are the two color kits, uh, black and color. So I'm going to insert it into the <coughs> printer. Now, um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there you go. That's what I want to show you. Yeah, so that's the part. <coughs> so as you can see over here, uh, this is the slot okay so what happens is like it's kind of a difficult thing you can put this away to bring it out so it won't work it won't come out basically this is where you uh, this is the place where you have to insert the um, the color ink so first turn on your printer it will release this yeah there you go so it, it will release it automatically so you will have this to uh, police so you have to pull that down so basically that's how you uh, put your in inkjet so pull this down pull this down so you have this two of uh, your levers down so remove the the color one from its box now there should be a tape around it so remove the tape the red color tape which should be surrounding this area so remove it once you remove it uh, look this is the position you have to uh, keep your printer so I'm not sure if it's focusing hold on um, oh yeah there you go so that, that's that's something which uh, uh, this is the play this is uh, the level you want it to be yeah so just put it inside so the color should be on the left side and the black should be on the right side so, so keep it that way so this fan facing should be going in like that and then you have to hit that don't press it so hardly it's just push it gently and then pull it up that's it so do the same thing for the 
black as well. So just put it back there, push it gently so that it stands there and then push the one. So it should be leveled actually if you can see it from here it should be it should be having the same level and that will make sure that the, it has been installed properly and you can also see that the ink is blinking right now here. So that is an indication close it close it and you can see that it's sort of working inside. So now what you can do is like you can just quickly uh, wait for 20 seconds now it will start detecting itself and uh, it will go around here and there and it will get things done and finally you will get one in here in the status bar you will get one that that is like uh, you're sure that everything is working fine um, that is the indication now the next thing you want to do is like go to this application which you get to install <coughs> So once you install, there'll be like uh, a page where you can give uh, execute a test print. Also, you can go for a test print to find out whether everything is uh, working as uh, it should. And once you get that acknowledgement, you can go for a test printing. Say, for example, um, I'll go for some some post here. Uh, I don't know which one to print. Uh, but yeah, there should be something. So you have this to-do list. So I'm going to print this. So I need a piece of paper to print it on. <coughs> okay, I have no idea why I kept my paper. So I'm just searching for it. Uh, where is that? then you should not keep it this way you have to keep it this way so that's when uh, it gets printed that way so just give ctrl p and then select uh, canon e10 series printer once you install the software you're gonna get this uh, canon e10 series on your uh, printer option just click on print and uh, now you can see that uh, the whenever it's printing the status will go like round and round so this is making sure that um, Okay, just give OK, it's an information. So now things are moving forward. Yeah, it says like previously the power cord may be unplugged while doing the top. Okay. Okay, there seems to be some problem. I will disconnect and reconnect. That should work. So I've cancelled the printing. Now I'll give the printing again. Um, okay, there you go. So I'm printing it again. So I'm just waiting for the status to be one. Uh, now the status is one, so I'm giving a print. You can see that it's going inside. So the stuff is printed. So that's basically it. So that easy is printing or getting your print done. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is the scanning. So how good is the scanning? Is what my um, everyone has been asking about this printer. And uh, for to scan, I'm gonna have um, a beautiful picture. Um, yeah, I'll go for the Joker. So I'm not going to take a print out of it, uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to scan and I'm going to take an output here on my computer. So uh, there you go. So you have photo scan. So I click on photo scan. Okay, there is an error. I have no idea what error it is. 
which is um, cancel printing. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the status one. Yeah, it is status one. So I'm just gonna scan the photo scan. I'm gonna use that option for the photo scan, and it's scanning. I'm not sure if you can able to see that what's happening in my computer. But yeah, it's uh, it's actually running the scan. Uh, yeah, it's uh, transferring the image right now, and uh, the image has been loaded here. Now the size of the image is 1.2 MB, and let's see how good it is. Okay, that's not bad, not bad at all. I mean, like uh, if you can zoom in, and the details ain't much, but uh, I think like it's it's fair enough. I mean. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it looks pretty good. Um, hold on a second, I'm just trying to adjust the camera so that it can actually focus on the computer. Yeah, there you go. You see it? Uh, you see this one? It's kind of good. I, I, I like it, actually. You get more of a, a blue color, though it's, a, it's not blue, that blue, but yeah, that, that's pretty damn good for the money you spend for this piece of uh, electronic it's, it's good actually I'm kind of impressed but also you can you can also increase um, you can go to scan settings and you can go to photo scan and you can in increase the DPI to 600 and give okay uh, let's do the scanning again let's see how uh, well the improvement is now this is scanning on uh, 600 DPI So it's uh, scanning, as you can see. Yeah. So it's trying to, you know. to get you a good detail about what's going on yeah so um, the size of this document is 20 MB oh that's huge and uh, well I'm very impressed I must tell you like I'm very impressed because it's almost the same it's almost the same I mean, red are more red, um, but yeah, it, it's almost the same. I'm kind of impressed with this, how it is doing the scanning for this much cheaper price. So there you go. That's how you have to set it up, and that's how you have to, you know, work with this amazing scanner printer. And uh, yeah, this is a good investment for the price you get this for. I got it for like four thousand three hundred rupees. And uh, it has proven that it's a very good investment for me. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching this video. Do like and comment. Uh, I know that I messed up a lot. I didn't bring the paper for printing. Uh, but then leave the comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.